Hey everybody, it's Harry from Separate Daddy Barbecue. I am super excited to be here in Houston. I'm at the Pinkerton's Barbecue Restaurant. We were recommended to come here by David Close. We just uh, finished uh, looking at David's uh, operation here in Houston. And uh, David suggested that Grant from Pinkerton's Barbecue uses Close Pits. And uh, we decided we'd come here and enjoy the food, share you guys the results of this fantastic spread that we have in front of us. So I'm gonna kind of eat my way through and give you guys a first-hand first view opinion on how everything tastes. Pinkerton's barbecue recommended to us by David Close of David's Close Pits. And uh, I believe Grant's the owner, right? Grant's the owner? Yes. Yeah, and he cooks on uh, the Close Pits? Yes, sir. Okay, very cool. So we're gonna get a uh, like a combo sampler here. We got some ribs, some sausage, a few sides, that beautiful brisket right here. I'm gonna get the fatty and the lean, a little bit of both. Turkey breast, you want turkey breast? Okay, we order some turkey breast. A couple, a couple of sizes of turkey breast. All right, wonderful. Excellent. Pork, there's pork, right? Pork, we have pork here. You guys have a, like a tangy sauce, tangy right sauce? Yes, sir. Okay. Alright, we're taking a tour of the uh, pits in the back. Okay, here we go. By the way, what's your name, sir? Oh, my name? Yeah. Justin Hartman. Jonathan, nice yes, to meet you. Sir. Hi. I'm Harry. Curtis. Curtis, Dr. Danny Barbecue. Nice Los to meet Angeles. you. Nice to meet you. Ghana. Gotcha. Alright. Cool. So we just came from David Close's uh, barbecue pits. Yeah. How was and, it? Uh, How was the tour? Story. Good. It's uh, absolutely amazing yeah. what he does. So he mentioned that uh, we gotta try Grant's barbecue because he cooks and using close pits. There we go. So maybe you give us a quick tour on the YouTube channel, show yeah. people the world. Yeah, come on what in, guys man. Do. All right, so this pit. Uh, oh, give me one second. We like to listen to the music back here. Uh, okay. So this pit here, we keep all our pork on. Our ribs, sausage, chicken, turkey, all of it goes on here. All right. And then my other pit down there, uh, we put all our brisket on. Brisket is smoked 16, 22 hours. Uh, 16 to 22, you say? 16 to 22. Wow, so literally, yeah. like the ultra low, like 225. Oh, uh, between 200 to 225. Wow, Trying really to be low, low and slow. That's our model, low and slow. So if somebody's here around the clock. Uh, other than that, that, that's pretty much it. We is don't it have true it. that he lives upstairs? Yes, he, <laughs> it, it is true. But okay. unfortunately, he just stepped out. Okay. He literally just oh, moved out maybe about a week ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. So, but it is true, he does live upstairs. And uh, I guess he got tired of living. Smelling the smoke all the time in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we use mosquito post oak. So we get our wood up. Uh, right yeah. So this is post oak right here, but we're running low on mosquito. Uh, one of our guys is putting them in as we go right now. What's the ratio of uh, mosquito and post oak? Uh, so the mosquito. Uh, whenever you go, whenever you guys go eat your brisket, you look at the texture and the red ring around the meat. Um, that is that mosquito flavor that is going. So it gives it that nice soft juicy texture. And then our post oak. It just goes ahead, turn our heat up for us, and let us finish the process throughout the night. Okay. You know what, what do you have on now? The egg, the um, egg, actually, so we have our the brisk show the camera here. Yeah, go ahead, man. No problem. Okay. Yeah. So we have our briskets on for tomorrow. Briskets on for tomorrow. Okay, that's wonderful. You cannot smell. Wow, you yeah. cannot smell like that. <laughs> so these are uh, what what Angus or what uh, are they? Stone. Uh, these are Creekstone Prime. Creekstone Prime. I'm okay. saying, yeah. How many can you get in there? Yeah, uh, we can fit up. Fifty. No, about 40, yeah, about 50, 50, 55, so that's a little bit over a thousand pounds right there. On one of them, right? On just one, just, just one. one, just one. So I try to keep all our beef on this one yep. and not mix them at all. So the one, what goes on this one? Oh, this is all on pork, so I have pork ribs on here right now, as you can see. Let's take a quick look at our pork ribs here. Um, nice. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah, they're already wrapped right now, nice. so maybe about another two hours then. Two hours. They'll These are 48 together. inch uh, close pits, right? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they are. 48 is like the big one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then did you run, you run your fire on, on each side here? Oh uh, yes, correct. So we have our fire box on each side. Uh, we run it little to no fire. Little to no fire. If you come look, this is how much fire we're actually running. Okay. Wow, that's not a lot, but it really shoots up a lot of yeah. Not a lot at all. Not a lot at all, right? So you throw in a couple of logs every, what, 45 minutes? Actually, we try to keep one to two pieces um, at least every 30 to 45 minutes, yeah. Um, so we try to do it two on two. Two at the bottom going one way, two going the other way. 
and just let the heat, let the air just blow right through. So at 22 hours, uh, somebody's gonna be here for a long time. Yeah, somebody's here. So <laughs> I'm here now, and then I'll be getting out of here around 8, 8.30. And then my night guys will be getting in to where right. they go ahead, they do what they have to do, and then right. keep it rolling. So did you uh, learn how to cook barbecue here? You, you, you are a so I, um, that's, it's a funny story how Grant sucked me in. <laughs> um, so I graduated from Lamar High School. Uh, so I was cooking there for FFA, and he saw me, he saw my, he saw my skills, and he was like, hey, come work for me. And then ever since then, I've been rocking and rolling with Grant. How long yeah. have you guys been open? Um, we've been open for three years. I've been here for about a year and a half now. Yeah, okay, wonderful. How you like it so far? Man, I love it. Uh, All right, and so all honestly, uh, man, that, he's a great guy. He's, he's a great guy. And then you got barbecue sauce in your veins, so this is uh, <laughs> all for you. And the, the crazy part is, I don't eat barbecue. No, you don't eat barbecue at all? I don't eat barbecue. At all, what's At all. So when I started here, I loved it, and I got so burnt out, I was so tired of it. I, the last time I actually ate barbecue was almost two two weeks ago when we went to uh, the Texas Monthly. Wow, uh, and then, so, uh, but you, you can look at it and you know how it's gonna taste. Yeah, I mean, we can look so at it times. One eye, one eye and one yep. arm. Yep, there we go, it's just like that, just like that, man, okay. yeah. Yeah, we're here for the uh, Houston Austin Throwdown Sunday. Yeah. Oh, wow. So six restaurants, we'll battle six restaurants. Oh. And we, we, we're gonna be cooking one of the teams here. Okay, okay, so, yeah, I heard about fantastic. it, but I know we never really looked into it too much. Well, fantastic, thank, thank, thanks so much for hey, the tour, man. No problem, man. You guys go enjoy. You're gonna enjoy your biscuit now. See, there you go. You go and you go eat, and then let me know how it tastes. Okay, out. we'll go. Come back. Come back. Say hello. There you go. Okay, let's give it a shot here. I'm here with uh, Master Judge, who refuses to be named. And, not here. Uh, you're not, she's not here. But look at the bark on this thing here. It's absolutely fantastic. Look at the smoke ring. And look at how tender it is. I should be using a fork, but I'm shooting a sting here. Look at that. That's fantastic. Look at the drain on the brisket here. Look at the taste. All right. Everything there. Freaking delicious. Freaking delicious. Okay, that was a burn in. Uh, let's try the, the flat now. Got the, the kind of nice dark bark, show you guys how it looks like. Look at it. Look at the drape here. Super, super tender brisket here. Fantastic looking. Beautiful smoke ring. It's salty, not too salty. The flavor on the crust is fantastic. Super tender, very moist. So very, very good lean brisket, which is from the flat area of the cow. Look at the rib here. Beautiful color. Right here. Right, super tender. Delicious rib, slightly sweet, like very lightly sauced, and uh, just a very, very good rib here. Let's try the uh, turkey. Good. That's a little overdone, but good. Let's give the pork a shot. It's got some kind of red sauce on it. Very tangy, spicy, sweet sauce. It's okay. Let's try the sausage next. It's good. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Right. Try the size now. Mac and cheese. You got bits of bits of meat in it, right? Mac and cheese with brisket. Brisket mac and cheese. Okay. About, about average. No, above average. Above average. Okay. So uh, all in all, one word sums up the Pinkerton's barbecue in Houston. Absolutely, just just fantastic, awesome barbecue. The, uh, the brisket is uh, really out of this world, really, really good. Both the point and the flat, outstanding. Ribs are outstanding. Uh, turkey is, is above average. The pork is sort of kind of middle of the road here with the tangy sauce. The sides are wonderful. The mac and cheese, the small potato salad, coleslaw are great. And then this little mustardy barbecue sauce is good. The ribs are, the ribs are delicious. And uh, they're just a little overdone, but absolutely really, really tasty. Has a slight hint of sweetness to it. They sauced it very, very lightly. And then the brisket is, is spot on. Definitely, if you come to Texas, you gotta go try Pinkerton's barbecue. They cook on closed pits. We had a chance to meet the pit master. Grant uh, wasn't here, but uh, we hope to meet Grant one of these days. But he is doing a fabulous job. And I believe he's gonna be opening other restaurants in the state of Texas. So uh, come by and join us and uh, try this restaurant in Houston. If you haven't already, great food, great barbecue, and great sides.